if you have a data set that has a grouping element an element that serves more than a single row or quite a number of rows and you want to uh make it succinct in the sense that you want to allow for collapsing and expanding of the data rows based on the groups so instead of displaying all of this information for example i want to be able to collapse each of these job descriptions since all of these people are account representatives all of these guys are analysts so i want to be able to group all the account representatives so that i can hide the details and only show the top line so I want to show account representatives, their total salaries is 85,000 for analysts, total salaries is 113,000. So I want to be able to show it in such a way that I can hide these details and only show the top line, hide these details and only show the top line. And when I have hidden it, I want to put like a button there for someone to be able to expand it to show the details and to collapse it to hide the details. For me to do something like that, it simply means I want to create an outline view. And the way to create an outline view is like this. Depending on how you have your data arranged. Now, this kind of like looks very clean already. But the method and approach to take is to go look for those ones that you want to hide. So I want to hide these guys like this so i need to kind of like go to highlight them somehow so i can highlight these people or i can just highlight somewhere on that row so i could highlight them like this or i could just highlight somewhere as long as it caters for the rows that contains those ones that i want to hide so once i have highlighted that way so let me use the staff name side rather so if i highlight the staff names like this i have to go to my data tab then to the extreme right hand side i'm going to see outline so when i click on the outline i will go to group and i'm going to group this so it's going to ask me if i want to group the rows together or i want to group the columns together right so the column grouping is just you know the other um approach of doing it so if i have a group of headers that i want to collapse together Okay, that's when I have to use columns. So for this, it has to do with the rows. When I click OK, I'm going to see the button right there that I can use to hide those guys and to unhide them. So if it happens that every time you highlight like this and you do the grouping, if it happens that you have the button showing at the bottom, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. What we are going to do is we are going to change the behavior because the button is better when it shows at the top like this so what i'll simply do is when i highlight this guy and i go to the outline view button you know towards the extreme bottom right hand side of the drop down i see there's always this diagonal arrow that is there that you can always expand to bring out more details so i'm going to click on that diagonal arrow it shows me this box and what i have to do is to untick these summary rows below i don't want the summary rows below i want it to be above so when i untick that option and i click ok you will see the option the button now shows at the top so now this makes more sense and when i collapse this i'm only seeing the account representatives if i want to see the details i'm just going to expand it like this right now for the next guy i'll simply use the same approach so highlight the guys go to outline use group group make sure it's on rows and i'll click ok go to highlight the next one outline group group ok so that's basically just how you have to continue using this so i can go to the next one this one has four people outline group group and ok then to the final one highlight those guys then outline group group and okay so once everything has been grouped this way then i can expand and collapse them as i wish to do so if you see now i have basically collapsed everything and if i want to look at the details for analysts i can just expand the analyst and i'm going to see the details for analysts if i want to see the details for directors i can expand directors i will see the details for directors now every time you create this kind of outline view depending on the number of levels that you have you are always going to see 
uh the numbers here so in this case it's always just two levels just this level and this level i'm only grouping like that so i'll always see these two levels here and if i click on the level one it simply means that only the highest level is being displayed that can allow me to collapse everything together at a single click and when i click on number two this will basically expand everything so there are times when you are going to have one two three four five based on different different subgroups right and you can have a subgroup maybe for example now let's say since you have account representatives maybe you have another column that shows um uh, out of account representatives you might have grouped them into different categories maybe male and female for example so that's now a subgroup now so after you uh, expand on account representatives you want to expand on the gender and something like that so that's when you continue to have subgroups and subgroups until you have multiple numbers here but this is just a very very simple and straightforward example of grouping and if you want to clear the groups you can go back to outline so i'm just going to highlight maybe i want to clear this group for example i'm going to highlight that group like that then go to outline go to my uh on group option and i'm going to ungroup this on the rows i'll click ok and that one is being ungrouped okay and if i want to ungroup everything i can just highlight all of them all the way to the bottom then i will go to my outline i will go to my own group and i'm going to ungroup or maybe click on clear outline when i have the clear outline selected everything is cleared but then you know there is a way i can basically manage this once i have properly presented my data to show the kind of order that i'm trying to use right in the sense that you know i've made sure that the header of each group is just right above it and there is nothing after that right so it's always the header of the group then the groups the header of the group then the details the header of the group and then the details if i have this kind of arrangement then i can basically just highlight all of the data range this way then i will go to the outline and i'm going to go to group then i will select auto outline okay and that basically just covers all of them at the same time i can go to my group level number one i can go to my group level number two back to number one expand on any one of them that i feel like